Hi guys, Nightham here. Today we are going to be going over this week's affixes and how best to deal with them. So this week we have actually got Fortified, Sanguine, Necrotic and of course Infested. So the first affix that we've got is Fortified. Now there isn't much that I can say about Fortified, but I'll give a quick little rundown. Fortified. Non-bosses have more health and deal 30% more damage. This means that interrupting and avoiding any damage from the mobs is going to be fairly critical in the dungeon because it is going to deal a lot of damage. Also, a lot of the time this week is going to be spent actually killing adds and, and trash, so don't be afraid to use cooldowns on that because the bosses are going to be a lot easier this week. The first real affix that we've got is Sanguine. So what is Sanguine? Shortly after death, non-boss enemies will leave a pool of blood on the ground which grows to a 5 yard radius over 2 seconds. This pool heals enemies and damages players for a percent of their maximum health. The pool's radius is 8 yards. This one is not too difficult overall but can prove a bit of a problem if the tank does not kite out of the pools or you are not equipped with the right spells. Meliads will always come running to you, but for casters, they like to stand in it a bit more. For this, it is important to get your interrupts and or use grips and knockbacks to make sure that they get out the pool. Try and place the sanguine in a good place as well. If you are in small corridors, try and pull the mob out to an open area before killing it, or you might end up with a bit of, pro bit of a problem, especially if you still need to run through the corridor. So to summarise, interrupt or grip the adds out of the pools and make sure that you place the sanguine in a ideal location so you don't have to run back through it. The second affix that we've got or the second real one is necrotic and this is another one for the tank so tanks you are getting a bit of a hard week this week it's mainly on your shoulders but let's have a look at ne what necrotic actually does. Enemy melee attacks apply a stacking debuff that deals damage and reduces healing received. Debuff lasts 9 seconds and is dispelled when exiting combat. So this actually works pretty well with Sanguine because you're already wanting to kite the adds out from the pools. So if you have a tank, you can basically always have him running away from the adds and it will benefit the, the group. You can have him go in, you can take the aggro and then you can get him out, kite the mobs, the tank's not getting stacks, the enemies aren't standing in the Sanguine and everyone's having a good time. Frost Mages are always good on a Necrotic week because you always have that slow so it's quite easy for the tank to get away. So if you can get a Frost Mage in your group that would be great. You can actually do some fairly big pulls this week because of this. As long as the tank can kite well and you do not let the adds get healed by the Sanguine, it should in theory be easy to, easy to handle in the lower dungeons and if you are more experienced you shouldn't have a problem in the higher dungeons either. On bosses with Necrotic, what you will have to do as a tank is try and time it with the bosses doing casts or doing an ability so that you can drop your stacks. Since it's not tyrannical, the bosses aren't going to do that much damage unless you're really getting up into the high keys. So when a boss starts to cast, run away and hopefully by the time it catches up and has done its cast, your stacks will have dropped. If there are any little adds on bosses, if your DPS can tank them, this will be really good help. Like the blobs on the piggy boss in Waycrest Manor, if the DPS can tank them while or quickly burst them down, it helps a lot, a lot for the tank because he won't be getting all those stacks from the lit lads as well. It's also important to know that for tanks, anything that makes you immune to magic, like DK's AMS or you have Paladin's Bubble, this will also prevent you from gaining stacks, so time this correctly and you will be okay. So the last one we have is Infested. And we've been through Infested again, but just a quick summary, just one ad is going to be healing a lot of adds. When you kill the Infested ad, that's going to drop two spawns of goon, kill them before they infest other people. So this is quite an interesting one with Sanguine, because as soon as you kill the Infested mob, the goons are actually going to fall into the Sanguine pools. So it is important for the DPS to get them down as soon as possible so you don't have to worry about them, because the goons are going to be healed up. You have two options with Infested this week, either kill them and focus the spawns really well or just CC the Infested mob and kill it after pulling other trash. Me personally, I would CC a couple of Infested, pull the rest of the trash and then get the two CC Infested together so that you won't have a problem. 
This week has been a shorter video. I actually want to make them more condensed and not ramble as much because people don't want to sit there for 10 minutes and, and listen to me ramble on about specific things. I'm going to try and get as much information in as I can and then hopefully you guys will be able to go and use that information. I'm still going to be giving the same amount of information but doing it a bit faster. I can ramble a bit and so I'm going to try and cut down on that like I'm doing it right now but whatever. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Once again, if you're struggling to find teams, then head on over to Mythic Plus Friends Discord. I'll put the link in the description below. You can look for teams and look for players at any level. And you can also get onto the Mythic Plus Academy, which you can start to learn a bit more about the game and, and becoming a better player. Thank you all again. If you can like, comment and subscribe, that will be great. You can also catch me live over at twitch.tv forward slash nighthelmbg. I will put a link in the description below and if you want to join my discord as well that will also be in the description so thanks again and i will see you next time